Hello and welcome to Quality Professional Consulting Group YouTube channel. My name is Ben Tomic and in this short video we're going to talk about the scope of the quality management system. Okay, what is the scope of the quality management system? The scope determines the boundaries of the quality management system and it should be defined in a manner that helps the organization to meet the requirements and the intended results. Determining the scope of the quality management system is a part of the ISO 9001-2015 requirements, particularly Clause 4.3. The scope of quality management system must be maintained as documented information and it's a vital part of the quality manual even if the companies choose not to have a quality manual which is no longer a stated requirement in ISO 9001-2015 standard but it is highly recommended as we discussed in, our, of, of, in one of our previous videos. The scope of quality management system defines how far the quality management system extends within the company's operation and details any ISO 9001-2015 requirements that cannot be applied and the justification for these. What to consider when determining the scope of the quality management system? There are a few considerations to be considered when determining the scope of the quality management system. External and internal issues that are relevant to the purpose of the organization. Needs and expectation of relevant interested parties. The products and services that organization provides. How to create the scope of the quality management system? The scope of the quality management system is basically a statement regarding the products and services covered by quality management system and justification for any instances where the ISO 9001-2015 standard cannot be applied. The quality management system scope has to include all requirements of the ISO 9001-2015 standard that can be applied and if there is any requirement which is determined that cannot be applied, the organization will not use this as a reason uh, for not ensuring conformity of its products and services and the enhancement of customer satisfaction. Okay, which elements we should consider when we want to develop the scope of the quality management system? Uh, what do we do? That's very important. Which industries do we serve? Which markets are we present in? What is our organizational infrastructure? Any clause of ISO 9001 that is not applicable. All these elements will constitute the scope of quality management system. So, for example, we could say that the scope of our quality management system for our organization, ABC Incorporated, is to produce uh, machined parts for the commercial industries uh, in North American market uh, in both locations that we uh, presently uh, uh, occupy and according to customer requirements, therefore clause 8.3 design and development is not applicable to our quality management system. That would be one very simple example of the scope of quality management system. Thank you for watching this video and if you want to stay informed about this particular uh, matter, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel more videos to come. Thank you one more time.